So this is my Colby red wine and it's named after my son Colby. Um, Colby's our fourth child and was a surprise baby and he was born with congenital heart disease which is the number one killer of children. And we were told that Colby would have to have open heart surgery sometime in his life and at the age of eight um, that open heart surgery came and he, and he, and he had it. Um, we thought we could move on but we were delivered the devastating news straight afterwards that um, Colby's surgery was not a success and he had to have another one. Um, hardest thing in our life ever to do was to tell my son who had just been through a very tough surgery that he had to go back and do it again. Um, after the second surgery, Colby went back to school. He more or less had a year of his life ripped out from him. He was behind academically, he was behind socially, he was the weakest kid in the class, the smallest kid in the class, and uh, he tended to get picked on a little bit, and he would come home and cry every night. Um, and he'd tell me, Dad, I'm on the bottom rung of the ladder, I don't want to live anymore. Um, my wife and I cried, wondering what we could do for him. And uh, we thought the best thing to do was to build confidence. So we got him involved in the American Heart Association. And at the age of 10, Colby did his first survivor story. And he got up on stage in front of 400 people, told his story, and he got a standing ovation and he started to feel really good. And next thing you know, he's organizing a heart walk for his school and raising money. And he found a gift for raising money. One day while I was watching the football, Colby came to me and said, Dad, do you think we could make a wine together? And I told him to go away. I was watching the football, but he came back very persistent because he's a, he's a persistent young boy. He was uh, 10 and a half years of age, and he said, Dad, do you think we could make a wine together? And I told him it was really hard to do, and why would you want to do that? Um, and I told him, you know, the hardest thing is we've got to find grapes. And he had his laptop in his hand, and he said, Dad, I found some grapes online three quarters of a ton of Cabernet in Lake County, can we make the wine? And um, when I finally said yes, why do you want to do it? He said, you know, I want to learn about science and biology. And then I said, yeah, you know, let's do it so you can learn. Then he said to me slyly, do you think it would be any good? And then he said, do you think we could sell it and could we donate the profits to Heart Research? Um, so I thought, you know what, a great idea. Um, in 2011, we made two barrels of wine hoping to raise $500, Little Father and Son project. We got a call from the Today Show. We went on the Today Show, told our story. Kathy Lee and Hoda then fell in love with the wine and told everyone it's the best red wine they've ever tasted. We're now four years down the track and we've raised $650,000 from the sales of Colby Red. That's wine by the glass at Fleming's, Capital Grill, California Pizza Kitchen, um, P.F. Chang's. My son Colby's just turned 17. He's just been appointed the national spokesperson for the Children's Heart Foundation. And he now travels around the United States giving away the $650,000 we've raised. He gets on stage, he mentors little kids, and, uh, and I sit there as a very, very proud father with a tear in my eye. And inspired that from a black cloud that you have, it doesn't always have to be a black cloud, that there could be something good out of it. And my son at an early age has learnt the, the joys of giving back. Um, and uh, he's an inspiration to so many little um, kids that are born with congenital heart disease. And we get so many parents that come up to us and say, you know, to the, their kids, you can be like Colby. So he, uh, um, Colby Red isn't just about wine, but it's about a story that, that any kid can put their mind to doing something great and you don't have to live with black clouds. So this is my proudest wine I have ever, <laughs> ever made. <laughs> Thank you.